I'm Andrea Luttrell and welcome to Future Icons and today I'm so excited to bring you a new mover and shaker, Miss Sonia Hudson-Payne. Welcome Sonia. Thank you so much for having me today. Now you have so much that you do. Yeah. You're an author, <laughs> you're a radio host, you're the new VP of publishing of 1209 pub Publishing. Yes. You're also an educator. Yeah. Please tell me your journey. Well my journey it started off pretty rough. Um, First, I started off as a, a teacher in middle school in the South Bronx. Got a little bit bored with the education department in New York City, and I moved to Florida. A week after I moved to Florida, Hurricane Ivan hit in 2004, and my daughter was and I were left with nothing but the clothing on our back. Wow. And I had to find a way to redefine myself when I felt like I had lost everything. And with no electricity, no running water, nothing but a pen and a notebook, I wrote my first book, The Seasons of Love. And I knew that I had to move back to New York in order to publish myself and take my brand to the level that I wanted it to become. I just have to pause you. Okay. Sure. <laughs> so you have no home, no electricity, and you, th you think to write a book? Yes. <laughs> it was therapy for okay. me. I always um, found writing to kind of quell the anxiety that was going on in my head. And I knew that I had to get out some thoughts. I felt unloved. And I wanted mm. to write from a standpoint where love was possible. And I wrote my first book. Okay, and now you have a second book called yes. A Love I Can Trust. Yeah. I love the title. <laughs> <laughs> because a lot of people out there don't find love, whether it's romantic, whether it's got love of God. Right. What kind of trust are you I mean, love are you talking about in this Well, book? first, the love of self. Okay. I feel and I find that a lot of women, we are angry, bitter, and mistrustful because we come from issues such as abandonment, incest, rape, our parents telling us that we should marry for love, and we lose ourselves in the journey because we are bombarded with so many different messages. So how can we attain a love of ourselves and a love for a man mm. if we are confronted with so many of these issues? So I take the story of three different women and they are based upon real life women and you actually see their struggle and whether or not they come out successful and in the interim, someone is trying to kill all of them. Oh, wow. So as women, you know, you said, well, Sonia, you're doing so much. I'm only the average woman doing so many different things, and I'm a mom. So I wanted to take those life experiences and put them in a book. That's amazing. And you're a mom. mom and first I'm a mom of, all, of a 17 year old. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> we know that being a mom is a first and foremost the, the best yes. and the hardest job one could have. Yeah. So speaking of the, all the jobs that you have, because you seem like the most <laughs> hardest working woman that I know <laughs> or have met so far. Please talk about uh, your radio host positions and also about being the VP of Publishing. Sure. I am a radio host of 1209 On Air, which airs every Wednesday on 90.3 FM. If you live outside of the New York area, you can tune in to www.the1209affair.com. And we just provide a professional show. In today's economy, a lot of people are losing their jobs, and we just want to show them how to be successful finding their own jobs and interviewing people who come from all all walks of life. They can either be actors, CEOs, millionaires, billionaires, mm -hmm. singers. We want to have people actually see real people doing exactly what they want to do. I love it. So people can actually follow their dreams yes. and their passions and be successful. Yeah. I mean, look at your example. <laughs> <laughs> From a hurricane to yes. nothing to all of these other <laughs> positions. That is so wonderful. Um, can you tell us a little bit more specifically about 1209 Enterprises? Sure. 1209 Enterprises is exactly what it says. It's an enterprise. They have 1209 Arts, 1209 Affair, which puts on these huge networking conferences. We've had uh, Susan Taylor, Iyanla Van Zandt, George Fraser, Randall Pinkett from, um, what is it, uh, Donald Trump's um, show and it's just a platform where hundreds of individuals come out and we network and you provide actual people where you can connect with afterwards to get to where they currently are. And also we have um, 1209 um, Blue which is a web series and now 1209 Publishing which I am proud to say that I'm the vice president of. 
And how long has 1209 Publishing been in existence? It's for self-publishers, yes. is that correct? Well, this is new. We're just launching um, the first week of October, so oh, I'm just developing wow. Exciting. all of the logistics for it. I have numerous clients lined up who are waiting to uh, get their books published. So we're going to publish um, adults as well as children books. So are you always looking for new yes. authors? Yes, okay. I am. Any and particular of, genre? Any No particular genre, okay. no particular demographic, as long as it is is appealing um, and it's sellable and marketable those are the type of authors that I'm looking forward to signing Wow yeah so again you have many hats yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're also an educator yes is that in just in New York or are you do you go around to schools around the country well primarily in New York um, the boroughs in New York City but because I was a teacher in Florida for two years a lot of my students I still mentor them on personal levels um, their career whatever areas that they need me for guidance um, and direction that's what I do so I do a lot of workshops inside of schools helping children stay true to themselves it is so difficult for a child in this day and age to not only focus on their schoolwork because we're so test driven, mm. but they come with so many different issues. Father has left the home, mother is working two and three jobs, there's no food on the table, they're taking care of their siblings, but you want them to score a level three and four on their exams when they're coming with so many emotional issues and under such emotional duress. So I want to actually go into the schools and let them know that people like me are, you know, really looking out for them. I want to find a way to give back. So that is one of my true passions, is to reach back to not only young kids, but I also mentor uh, students on the college level as well. That's wonderful. How do you find time to do all these things? Through God. Through God. Amen. <laughs> through God Amen. that strengthens me. Um, I just think about what my forefathers went through and how, you know, women who were slaves, they had to work in the cotton fields and they were with child and they gave birth to their children right there in the cotton fields and put the child on their back and kept on moving so how dare I complain mm, so I, I want to make you. sure that I create a legacy and I show my daughter that through hard work and diligence and resilience you can be whatever it is that you want to be so how dare I complain about being tired I love it. I love it. I was a little tired before <laughs> I met you, and now I am just rejuvenated. You are such a powerful woman and, and so inspirational. Thank you. If you had one point or tip for the young people out there who are watching, what mm -hmm. would you say about people who are following their dreams or someone who's actually, for someone who's struggling right now, they can't make ends meet, um, they think, oh, my parents didn't go to school, you know, I didn't go to college, I can't be anything. What would you tell them? Well, it's twofold. Um, stay fully present in your moment by staying true to yourself. You have to fully be cognizant of every second, minute, hour that passes. And that means every word that's spoken from you and to you to realize the negativity that comes your way. And when you realize that, and if it's not for you, you can kind of shy away and push it away and be your own person. Mm -hmm. So be fully present in every single moment by staying true to yourself. So that is always the word of encouragement that I give to anyone. Well, I feel your presence. Thank you. <laughs> feel yours too. <laughs> Thank you. So how could we reach you and all the different things that you uh, are involved in, if you want to find out more about your radio show, right. if you want it to be uh, work together with you for a program, if you were in a school system, mm -hmm. is there the, the best place to reach you in a website perhaps? My website is www.sanyahudsonpain.com. That's S-A-N-Y-A-H-U-D-S-O-N-P-A-Y-N-E. And I'm on just about every social site. That's the best way to reach me. I'm on Facebook. I'm on Twitter. I'm on LinkedIn. I'm on Pinterest. And I'm on <laughs> Google+. Plus. <laughs> okay. Are you not on anything? <laughs> no. 
<laughs> okay, and please tell us again, where can we find your book, A Love I Can Trust? A Love I Can Trust, you can purchase it through my publisher, um, www.sbpra.com. You can also go into Barnes & Noble, so I'm excited that, you know, <laughs> it feels so good when you actually walk into a store and you see your book on the bookshelf. So Barnes & Noble, um, the retailer, or you can go to barnesandnoble.com as well as amazon.com. And just yesterday, the book became available on Kindle. That's amazing. Yeah. Congratulations to all Thank your success. You. Thank you. Thank you for all the things that you do in the community. I, really, you are an inspiration. Thank you. So there you have it, viewers. You have the book from Sonia Hudson Payne, A Love I Can Trust. Please pick it up. I'm Andrea Luttrell, and this is Future Icons. See you next week. Being glamorous is a lifestyle. Be cute. Be bold. Be provocative. Silky Golden Glam.